Well, certainly it's a pl pleasure to always be in the colored shavings at World Dairy Expo. And uh, after a great junior show like it we had today, I think the quality, the depth, uh, the performance of such a young group of uh, ambassadors for our Holstein industry is tremendous. Just had a great day, and I think the next 50 years is only going to be better for such a great group of young kids. Uh, it was a great group overall. We really thought that the three-year-old cow for champion with her tremendous foot and leg and her quality to her bone throughout. Just a little more correctness and levelness about her floor today over our two senior champions, but we really loved all of them and we really felt that the three-year-old just with her height and her width and her length overall just really uh, took charge for us today. You know, there's lots of classes that uh, so took a little bit of sorting out. A couple of those uh, December calves and the fall calves were the largest classes of the day. So I think they fall as just being a little more difficult with the size of the ring and the challenges. So I'd probably nail them as the two difficult classes, but uh, certainly the quality was in both of them as well. Uh, you know, the world's to thank. I think we live in a great industry. I think, you know, I uh, really want to thank everybody at uh, all my homes that I've had over the years. And uh, I think at uh, Ontario, Canada, and Wisconsin, USA, it's been an honor to uh, be in both countries. And I just thank everybody that I've, I've had the privilege to work for over the years. A lot of great breeders from coast to coast and all across the world.
Everything's going well here at the string for Blondin. Um, actually, the cows traveled very, very well. Uh, we had a couple cows coming from the other side of country in BC that we recently purchased. And uh, of course, the cows coming from, uh, from Quebec. So they have a long, both, both sides of the countries and both extremely long travels. Um, but they've all settled in extremely well, um, relaxed and, um, and doing very well. Uh, exciting news, I guess, for us. Last night, uh, we purchased a new junior two-year-old that has just made her way over to the string. She's an Atwood that goes back to Apple and is 3.47 in uh, PTAT type. So a new exciting cow to add to the lineup this week as well. Uh, the string this year, uh, of course, we have one of our returning favorites, I guess you could say, is Jessica. Goldwyn Jessica, 96-point Goldwyn cow. And um, also Lockett is back again this year, Dorman Lockett. She's a second calver, uh, junior three-year-old, uh, recently sold in our sale uh, to Tim and Sharon Abbott. And um, as they had a dispersal, uh, we uh, talked to them about keeping a share in the cow. So, so she's here in our lineup as well, along with Attic, Re Attic Rita, who was nominated a few years ago, is back and looking great. So we've added a couple milking yearlings and a couple younger cows as well. So it's a really nice lineup. All right, uh, update on Blonde and Sires. We will be announcing our two first bulls this week, so we're excited about that. They are, the first one is just finishing his quarantine and the second one is just going through his quarantine. So, so we should be looking at the next uh, few months to have our first semen available. So we're pretty excited about that. We've also purchased an additional three bulls. One is a red one, one is a red carrier bull and the other is an extremely high type Solomon Sun. So watch for later this week and we will announce the names of the first two bulls to come. Yeah, uh, recently I decided to uh, start a daily vlog. Uh, I enjoy sharing my experiences. I love watching other people's vlogs and seeing what they do on a daily routine. So I thought what a better place to, to try it out and see how it works and uh, seems to be going really well. Getting a lot of questions and uh, comments from people around the world. So. I'll keep trying to do it as long as I can. Um, the next few days is when it starts to get really, really busy, but uh, it's a lot of fun to do, so I'll keep working at it.